it was about 11 years ago, long time, the two writers approached me and said they wanted to do a movie and we talked about it. I'd had the other offers and turned them down because I didn't know, you know, what they would do with it and I just didn't trust them. But when I heard that Tim Burton was going to direct it, I thought, oh, that's great because I knew he'd really do a good job. And then it just took off. I was surprised that I hadn't heard the story. I actually, the first time I read it, didn't know that it was a true story. I, I remember asking that question, like, is this, did this really happen? Because I kind of remember the paintings and remember sort of that aesthetic of that time period, but I didn't know that this was a true story. I painted them. I did. Every single one of them. Every big guy. Me. Amy came up to the gallery in San Francisco and I was very nervous and she just put me totally at ease. I didn't even think of her as a famous actress. She just seemed like the girl next door. I wasn't even aware she was observing me so much or I w would have really been nervous, but she just put me so at ease and we just got along great. That's why I paint them so big. I've always done it that way. Why are you lying? When I heard that Amy Adams was going to play me, I said, who's that? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I don't go to movies very often. And I had never heard of her. <laughs> no, I... But I soon found out how great she was and saw excerpts from her different movies. And I thought, she'll do a, do a good job. And she did. <laughs> More than a good job. There was something else, there's just a, a dignity about her that, and, a, and a real um, strength of character that I knew was something that's innate to the human being and that was something I wanted to bring to her and, and a really forgiving spirit and a forgiving soul and I, I could see how she would fall for the charm of this man and really want to give him the benefit of the doubt for such a long period of time. Well, what about honesty? Oh, God, the painting says keen. I'm keen. Oh, I just couldn't get over how much she looked like the old photographs, but the way she portrayed me was just exactly how I was feeling. We're sold out. They adore you, big guys. It exploded so fast, the popularity of the paintings, and he was such a genius at promoting them. Just overnight, he had them everywhere so people could see them, and, and the more popular they were, the deeper the hole got, and I just didn't know how to get out or what to do. I was really felt I should have, you know, had enough sense to stop it, but I didn't, and it just got worse and worse. I couldn't get over how he managed to look like him, act like him, and, and it was like seeing him up there on, alive on the screen. It was really a traumatic experience. And, and then to see Amy and see how she was feeling, what I was feeling when I was going through all that. The whole thing was very a traumatic experience the first time. So, who is the artist? I just kind of understood the confusion and the betrayal and not really knowing if you should speak, you know, not really being able to find a voice. like knowing you should say something, but really no words coming out. Um, I definitely identify with that quite a bit. This is what it's come to, huh? You are the only living soul I can tell my secret to. I've been doing some more paintings. Big eyes, they're getting bigger. I'm doing, excuse me. They're great, great big paintings with just an eye and a nose and a little bit of a mouth. Just a great big campus. Scott brought the film up to um, Marin County at a theater and we got to watch it. But it was good because it was such a traumatic experience, you know. I, I told you I was in shock for two days. So I'm glad it didn't, there weren't a lot of people around. <laughs> I was laughing and crying and so was Jane. <laughs> it was really something. 
I, I did very much um, want to know that she was comfortable with the performance and comfortable with the film and felt like I honored her and honored her reasons for wanting to tell the story and, and portrayed her with the dignity that I think she deserved.